Charlie the Tuna on behalf of Starkist. Only the finest prime tuna is good enough for Starkist. Uh, tell them Charlie sent you. You're about to see a remarkable tire test. A test that shows why BFG Big Edge tires, unlike ordinary narrow edge tires, put extra rubber where the wear is, on the edges. Recently at a Texas test track, we put a BFG Big Edge tire and a comparably priced narrow edge tire on the same car. We drove these tires 20,000 miles, photographed them every 1,000 miles. These photos show for the first time how today's tires actually wear. Watch. 5,000 miles, 10,000 miles, 15,000 miles. See how the edges of the narrow edge tire are worn away? 20,000 miles. The narrow edge tire is worn almost bald, but the BFG big edge tire still has thousands of miles to go, even after 20,000 miles. Get this big edge in safety and mileage. Get BFG big edge silver towns at your BF Goodrich dealer. He's listed in the yellow pages. Hey, uh, did you guys see this? What is it? Well, I don't know, some sort of a notice from the dean's office. Well, open it up. It might be good news. Are you kidding? When did we ever get good news from the dean's office? Why don't we just write move, no forwarding address, and put it back in the mailbox? <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, not in my handwriting. Here, let me have it. I'll open it. Yeah, I don't want to touch it. My fingerprints are on file down there. Well, what's it say, Rick? Uh, it's uh, sort of an invitation. To a cocktail party? Well, not exactly. It seems that the dean wants somebody from the fraternity to meet him in his office at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Okay, Charlie, what have you done now? <laughs> he doesn't say what it's about, huh? No. Well, good luck, Rick. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you better hurry. It's five minutes to three now. Hey, wait a second, you guys. Why me? Because you've got the envelope. <laughs> That's you now. Okay. <laughs> Rick. Oh, hi, honey. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, I haven't got time to talk with you now. I'm going in to have a little chat with the dean. Well, don't forget you promised to drive me over to the meeting tonight. Yes, I know. I'll be there. And remember, you said you'd help me carry all that stuff. Yes, I know. And don't forget Tuesday night. Look, don't plan too far ahead. I might not even be around Tuesday. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay. Don't push me. Well, come in, fellas. Uh, thank you. Sit down. This will just take a minute. Yes, sir. Thank you. I know you're busy and so am I, so I'll get right to the point. I've been checking over the scholastic averages of the various fraternities, and unfortunately, your house isn't doing too well this semester. Oh? I know you have a number of excellent students who consistently get good grades, but apparently some of the others aren't doing their share. I don't have the individual records here, but I'm sure you can find out without too much difficulty just who isn't pulling his weight. Now, you know, if the average doesn't show a marked improvement by the next report, your house will automatically go on social probation, which means no social activities for the rest of the term. Well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Frankly, I'd hate to see that happen. My wife and I always enjoy your parties. In fact, they're just about the best on the campus, <laughs> which uh, may be the reason the grades are not what they should be. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I can assure you we'll call a meeting about it right away. Uh, yes, sir. We'll take care of it. Uh, we sure will. If there are any goof-offs in the house, we'll find out who they are. Well, good. Perhaps you can work out a more efficient program with the chairman of your scholarship committee. Uh, yes, sir. That's the first thing we'll do. Uh, yes, sir. That's the first thing we'll do. <laughs> Appoint a scholarship committee. <laughs> Hey, what's going on in here? Well, most of us are trying to study. In the middle of the afternoon? Are you kidding? It's almost dinner time. Well, what are you trying to do, spoil your dinner? <laughs> Come on, Wally, knock it off, will you? Well, what's wrong with all you guys? You heard what the dean said. You were there. Oh, so that's it. Don't let the dean worry you. That's just his annual threat. He tells the same thing to everybody. Yeah, I bet he does. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. He just had us up there today because he wanted somebody to talk to. He sits up there in that little office and gets lonesome. <laughs> We'll take your word for it. Now relax, will you? Okay. Hey, fellas, how about a little game? What'll it be? Five card draw? Seven card stud? How about a little showdown? Uh, Jack, 
the big ace. Our little lady. War. Hey, Rick. Ace bets. But later, Wally. Uh, Jimmy, ace checks to you. Forget it. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Anybody care for a walnut? Say we can find a guy who won't study. Well, that won't do too much good with Wally. He'll borrow the money from us to pay the fine. Well, it's pretty obvious we're gonna have to do something about it or we'll never get our grades up. Yeah, it's hard enough to study as it is. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Well, you're just in time. We're having a little impromptu meeting. Oh, well, carry on, boys. Who are we talking about? What's her name? Uh, believe it or not, we're discussing an entirely different subject this time. Okay, I'll check with you later then. Hey, wait a minute, Wally. <laughs> Maybe you can help. Sure, what's your problem? Well, uh, we kind of figured the reason our grade average is down is because it's so darn hard to study around here. Yeah, I've noticed that too. What do you think we ought to do about it? Well, it seems to come down to this. There are a couple of guys... Oh, one in particular. Yeah, one in particular who keeps goofing off and it makes it that much harder for everyone else to study. Oh? Oh, we're trying to figure out what to do about it. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Well, yeah, tell me who he is. I've been looking for somebody to play cards with, or checkers, or anything. <laughs> Come on, Wally, it's no joke. We don't want to go on social probation. Let's hear your opinion. What would you do about a guy like that? Well, I'd drum him out of the fraternity. Tar and feather him. Ride him out of town. That is, if I thought you were talking about somebody else besides me. <laughs> Look, we're not trying to put you on the spot, but if we all hit the books a little now, it'll save us a lot of trouble later on. Yeah, and if you can't settle down to study, maybe it'd be better if you just get out of the house. Get out of the house? I don't mean permanently. I mean just while we're trying to study. Well, what about Wally himself? We gotta get him studying, too. Well, that's part of the idea. Maybe if he's alone with his books for a while, he might get bored enough to open them up and see what's inside of them. What do you say, Wally? Well, it might be worth a try. At least it's better than tar and feathers. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make you a good offer. You can come over to my house and we can both study there. Hey, that sounds like fun. Oh, well, not exactly fun. I'm really gonna hit those books. That is, if I can find him. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> Way to go, Wally. Come on, Rick, before I change my mind. Hey, uh, Wally, uh, give me the cards. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, what do you want the cards for? Because we're going to study. We're not going to play cards. A harmonica. Radio. And the comic books. Comic books? Yeah, comic books. That's not fair. You know me too well. <laughs> Boy, how long have we been studying? About 15 minutes. <laughs> well, don't you have a test coming up in a couple days? Yeah, three of them. Well, so do I. Let's get to work. I guess I am kind of a goof-off, but I just can't seem to help it. Well, you get by. Yeah, sometimes I wonder how. Anyway, I want you to know I really appreciate what you're doing for me, Rick. Well, actually, I'm not doing anything. Well, sure you are. Having me over here at your house studying with me, it's a big help. Oh, good. I know I have a tough time buckling down and studying, but things have a habit of distracting me. Just don't let them. Oh, I'm not gonna from now on. Hi, boys. Oh, hi, Miss hi, Wilson. Tom. Come on in. I don't want to interrupt your studying. Oh, that's okay. We were due for a break anyway. How's your golf game been lately? Oh, uh, uh, not too bad. I'm a little unhappy with my short game, but I'm hitting the ball pretty well off the tee. Uh, Pop? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, fellas. Uh, drop in any time, Mr. Nelson. Bye. 
see your dad's a nice fella. Yeah, he sure is. Uh, come on, Wally. It's not her fault. That is, not entirely. Well, I thought you were going to study with me. Well, I just came down for a glass of water and I got a whiff of this apple pie. It was just too much for me. Besides, you can't study on an empty stomach. Are you kidding? His stomach's never been empty. Yeah, I'd like to keep it that way, too. <laughs> well, it's about time for a break, anyway. Well, here's one for you, too. Oh, thanks, Mom. Hello? Oh, yeah, uh, just a second. Oh, Wally, it's for you. It's Ginger. Oh, thanks. Uh, hi, Ginger, honey. You haven't forgotten about tonight, have you? Tonight? Yeah, you promised to drive me over to that meeting. Oh, holy smokes, that's right. Hey, listen, honey, I'll be right there. You'll be right where? I'm supposed to take Ginger to that meeting tonight. Well, you're also supposed to be studying tonight. You got a lot of back work to make up, and I promised the okay, guy. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, just a second, honey. Look, I can't tell her I'm studying. She'll never believe that. Hey, wait a minute. You're almost finished, aren't you? Well, yeah, why? Uh, will you do me a favor? Okay, I'll take her. Oh, thanks, Rick. Uh, listen, honey, I'm kind of hung up studying tonight, but Rick said... Uh, studying. You know, with books. <laughs> anyway, Rick said he'd take you, if that's okay. Oh, fine. Uh, bye. Well, she said it's okay with her, if it's okay with you. Yeah, it's okay with me. Well, now, wait a minute, I'm not so sure it's okay with me. Remember, she's my girl. Well, I'll try and keep that in mind. Now, where do I go? Uh, pick her up at the sorority. She has to take a punch bowl and some cups over to some meeting or something. And remember, she's my girl. Okay. And thanks for the pie, Mom. Uh, have fun. Thanks. Uh, wait a minute. That was only a figure of speech. <laughs> oh, hi, Rick. Hi. Is uh, Ginger here? She sure is. Come on in. Oh, thanks. Ginger, Rick is here. Hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Ginger. I hope this isn't putting you to too much trouble. Oh, no. Well, might as well get started. Tell me the truth, though, will you? Is Wally really studying? Believe it or not, he really is. Oh, thanks. Hey, let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. I guess I'm a little too used to Wally. <laughs> keep Wally on this project. Well, it's not only Wally, it's the whole fraternity. We're going to keep at it till we bring our grades up. In other words, it's going to go on for quite a while. I mean, especially for Wally. Well, he's got a couple of tests on Monday. We'll see how he does. Well, personally, I'm all for it. But I was kind of counting on his help this week. I've got all kinds of things to do. Well, we'll try to work something out. How far is this place? Oh, not very far. We're about a half hour early anyway. Well, how come? Well, I guess it's my fault. I always tell Wally a half hour early, so he won't be more than a half hour late. Well, now that we have a little time to kill, do you want to stop off someplace and have a cup of coffee? Well, I'd love to, but I forgot my wallet. Are you kidding? It's on me. Oh, good. It's usually Dutch with Wally. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, maybe we ought to keep Wally studying as long as possible. <laughs> Congratulations, Wally. Yeah, way to go, Wally. Oh, thanks, fellas. Hey, uh, what's up? Congratulations are in order for Wally. The professor asked him a question and he knew the answer. <laughs> yeah, and he even threw in a couple of footnotes to go with it. Well, that's great. Oh, there's really nothing. Any Phi Beta Kappa could have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did the professor say? Well, he was a little stunned, but he managed to finish out the lecture. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Keep up the good work, Wally. Oh, thanks. And uh, keep him at your house, Rick. We got a lot of studying done last night, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can take a hint. <laughs> Well, I guess I better get going, too. I promised Ginger I'd meet her down at the mole shop. Hey, wait a second. Are you all through for the day? Well, no. I've got a free period and then history. Well, don't you think you ought to go over to the library and study? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Yeah, but what about Ginger? I don't want to stand her up. Well, I suppose I could go tell her you're studying. Yeah, but I promised to have a malt with her. I'll buy her a malt. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't spoil her. I just said I'd have one with her. I didn't say I'd buy it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, so long. <laughs> well, now, let's see. Which way is the library? <laughs> Gee, that was a great dinner, Mrs. Nelson. Oh, thank you. Of course, I want you to understand that this study program doesn't necessarily include a free dinner every night. I know. On the other hand, it is an excellent way to get me here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Should have heard Wally today, Pop. He was a regular quiz kid. Well, good for you. Oh, thanks. You know, I kind of like the idea of knowing the answers for a change. You can sit right down in front. You don't have to hide behind your book. <laughs> I don't feel 
Knowing you aren't quite as bad as you say. Well, maybe not. But I do think that studying is doing me a lot of good. Want some more coffee? Oh, no, thanks. We have to get upstairs and hit those books. Well, get him. The new Wally. <laughs> Come on, now, no goofing off. Well, you go on up. I'll see you in about an hour. Well, where are you going? Over to the sorority. Ginger's chairman of some kind of alumni dance committee, and you were supposed to help her hook up the PA system. Well, I'll do it. You don't have to get stuck with that kind of stuff. That's okay. I'm all caught up on my studies. Yeah, but if you go over there, who's going to make me study? Oh, don't worry. Pop's going to check on you every half hour, and Mom's going to bring you a Toll House cookie every time you finish a chapter. I'll see you later. <laughs> to think I'm reading. Who? The Starkist guys. That's their boat up there. Oh! Shh! What? Pretend you don't notice them. Okay, but I... Just stand there and watch me become a Starkist tuna. As soon as it happens, call the newspapers. Tell them Charlie has made it. Ah, oh, Charlie, they're looking for them classy all-prime tuna. That ain't your category. Relax. I got an inside tip that Starkist wants uh, studious-type tunas, too. Who says? The guy who sold me these books. Look, he was right. Hey! Think you can get your money back? Sorry, Charlie. Only the finest prime tuna is good enough for Starkist. More people like the taste of Starkist than any other tuna. Try it and see why. Uh, tell them Charlie sent you. Testing. One, two, three. Sounds great. Why don't we try a record on it? Okay. Do you think there's too much wax on this floor? No, I don't think so. Oh, I just came down to do a little research at the library. Who are you suing today? <laughs> Nobody. Hey, uh, what's this I hear about you and Ginger? What do you mean? Well, I've been on the campus for about five minutes. At least ten people have told me you've been seen all over town with her. Oh, that. Well, I've sort of been filling in for Wally. Oh? Look, Ginger's a nice girl, but I'm certainly not interested in her. All I know is what I hear. You were dancing with her at the sorority last night, weren't you? I was helping her put up the PA system. Oh, sure. I hear stories like that in court every day. Look, David, I'm telling you, there's nothing to it. Hi, Rick, Dave. Oh, hi. Hi, Ginger. I want to thank you again for last night, Rick. Oh, sure. Is everything straight now for the dance Saturday night? Yeah, believe it or not, I don't have any more projects for tonight. Oh, good. I'm glad everything's under control. I guess Wally's going to be studying pretty hard tonight, huh? But yeah, we're going to keep mad until he has those tests on Monday. Well, he's supposed to take me to a movie tonight. There's an awfully good picture I'd like to see. Oh. Well, maybe I'll see it if it comes to town again. Uh, yeah, sure. So long, fellas. Bye. 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 Now, come on, David. I didn't say a word. It's obvious she's not interested in you. She just wants to go to the movies. <laughs> I thought I was doing Wally a favor, but now it looks like I'm trying to steal his girl. <laughs> I don't think so, Rick. Well, of course not. It's not your fault that Ginger's taking an interest in you. Well, I'm not sure she has. At least I hope she has. Well, it certainly sounds like she was hitting to have you take her to the movies tonight. And under the circumstances, I don't think that's such a good idea. Well, don't worry. I didn't take the hint. That's what it was. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Hi, Rick, old pal. Uh, hi, Wally. Oh, hi. Uh, is dinner almost ready, Mrs. Nelson? Almost. Oh, good. Well, that's the best part of studying over here. Say, Rick, how about doing me a little favor tonight? Oh, uh, what kind of a favor? How would you like to take Ginger to a movie? Oh, gee, Wally, I, I don't think so. Well, she'll pay for it. Well, it's not that. Uh, I'd sure appreciate it. It's a picture she's been dying to see. Well, why don't you take her? Are you kidding? With those tests coming up on Monday? Hey, you don't want me to break training, do you? No, I just thought it might be a good idea for you to take a night off. Relax a little. Oh, no, not now. I'm just getting into the swing of this thing. 
Besides, I've already told Ginger you'd take her, and she thinks it's a great idea. Well, I I'm not so sure about that. Look, why don't you get somebody else to take her out tonight? Well, not that she isn't a very attractive girl and, and a lot of fun to be well, with. Well, that's just the point. You're my best friend, and I trust you. I don't want her going out with some wolf. Well, excuse me, I'll go get cleaned up for dinner. Well, just don't sit in the balcony. <laughs> hey, uh, Wally? Uh, yeah? Uh, I really think you'd better take her to the show tonight. Well, what do you mean? Why can't you take her? Well, she may feel like you've been neglecting her lately and decide to latch on to some other guy. And I'm the one who's been around all the time. Oh, well, you cut it out, Rick. It's like I told you. You're my best friend and I trust you. Besides, how can she possibly be interested in anybody else when she's got me? <laughs> you handsome devil, you. <laughs> I'm kidding, but not much. Okay, where's the show playing, anyway? Uh, at the new drive-in theater. Pick her up about 8 o'clock, will you? the most beautiful love scene? Yeah, it's a real good picture. Listen to that music. Yeah, it's real good. It's a little chilly, isn't it? Yeah, do you want me to put up the top? Oh, no, I'll just put my coat over my shoulders. Uh, how about some uh, hot coffee or some popcorn or something? Oh, no, for me, thanks. Oh, will, you, will you excuse me? I think I'll get some. Oh, oh, sure. Uh, Mom, uh, could I talk to Wally for a minute, please? Oh, he isn't here. Well, he isn't? Where is he? I don't know. He left right after you did. Oh, well, that's great. He puts me on a spot like this, and he's not even studying. What's the trouble? Is something wrong? Uh, well, no, it's just... Uh, well, it's, it's okay, Mom. I'll see you later. Yeah, so long. Same picture? Oh, no, you missed the end of it. This is the coming attraction. Uh, I got you some popcorn anyway. Oh, gee, thanks, Rick. I must say you're just about the most thoughtful boy I've ever been out with. Oh, thank you. Well. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I just thought I'd drive over and see if my girl and my best friend were enjoying themselves. Well, we're having a very pleasant evening, thank you. So I notice. A little too pleasant, if you ask me. <laughs> Come on, Wally. Yeah, pretty tricky of you to lure me into studying so you can take my girl away from me. Wally. Just a second, Rick. Look, if you must know, it's been pretty nice going out with a gentleman for a change. I've forgotten how nice it can be. Having somebody open the car door for you, help you on with your coat, and pick up the check. <laughs> well, okay. If I had to lose to somebody, I'm glad it's you, Rick. Now, wait a second, Fatso. You're not going to get rid of me that easily. Uh, what's this? <laughs> you heard me. You mean you still like me a little bit? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, honey. <laughs> Sweetie pie. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, uh, this is getting pretty revolting. I think I'll go home if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, gee, Rick, don't you want to stay and see the other picture? No, you two stay here. Uh, I'll drive your car home. Uh, here are the keys. Oh, thanks. And I'm really sorry, Rick. No hard feelings? No, forget it. That's the way the old ball bounces. Oh, you're a lovely couple. You're beautiful, both of you. <laughs> I guess we are at that. And you're a wonderful guy, Rick. Thanks for everything. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, you sure you won't stay? Oh, uh, no, thanks. Uh, I have a little studying I'd like to do. <laughs> uh, a few things I'd kind of like to look over. You know how it is. Oh, sure. We'll see you tomorrow, then. Oh, okay. Good night, Rick. Uh, good, good night. night. Hi. Hi. You're Ricky Nelson, aren't you? Well, yeah. Well, you look kind of familiar, too. Well, I think we met at a couple of parties or something. Oh, honey, have you met Ricky Nelson? Oh, hi, Rick. Oh, uh, <laughs> Won't you join us? Oh, I was uh, just on my way home. Well, uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> Ah, nature. Ah! If you have hay fever, take an ocean voyage. Nobody suffers from hay fever on an ocean voyage. Or take Alarest. 
New Allerest calms the cough, the sneeze, the tears, the runny nose, the itchy eye of allergy. Created for allergy and only for allergy. <laughs> Take Allerest. Darling, I bought fresh roll on just as you told me. It did go on instantly because it's upside down, just as you said. And it is creamier than other roll-ons, just as you said. I did everything you told me. But I was still so nervous I forgot my lines in the play. Unlike some deodorants, Fresh can't make you a great actress. All Fresh does is keep you fresh. When you think of it, that's quite a lot. Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was brought to you by Pharmacraft Laboratories, makers of fresh deodorants, homogenized cream, dry stick, instant roll-on.